<laughs> Can you erase it? I'll just... When I was six years old, I started karate, and I lived in New York at the time. There was a Shotokan dojo there. It was actually part of the open circuit, so we, uh, when we went to the competition, yeah, we wore these black satin geese with these red collars and sashes, and <laughs> it, looked, uh, it looked pretty cool, but uh, um, still my favorite gi to this day. But um, the tournament did not go as well as I thought it was gonna go. I was watching a lot of martial arts movies with my dad at the time and through this what I thought was a beautiful inside crescent kick right over this kid's head and I thought I was uh, yeah, I was just really impressed with myself for about a tenth of a second until he, he dropped me with a reverse punch to the body and uh, lost the match, lost the tournament, ended up taking bronze and kata but, uh, but nothing in fighting so it was a uh, it was a good lesson and I loved it. I loved every moment of it. I, I just got really excited about competition, loved the thrill of competition, and got hooked. I was hooked ever since. What was it like competing for the first time? I was nervous, but actually I was nervous for every competition I ever did. I always let that uh, add more fuel to the fire and it, got a big boost of adrenaline because I was so nervous, but I was able to, to manage the fear and, and turn it into, uh, into uh, energy. So competition, I think it's uh, you know, scary for people at first, but once you get out there, if you, if you did a good job of preparing and training and, and did your homework, that usually once the, the match starts, uh, all of your, your instincts take over and, and the, uh, the skills that you've developed take over. How do I deal with losing? Um, well, after I get done throwing a lot of stuff, no, I'm just kidding. I, I always prided myself on, on uh, conducting myself well in competition. I remember my parents told me, people always remember the way you act. So you, you're always gonna remember that person who takes their fist guards and throws it in the event and yells at the official. So I, I never wanted to be seen that way. I was respectful to my fellow competitors, to the officials, to, uh, to the game itself. And um, I was always proud of that, win or lose. I always uh, stayed emotionless and kept an even keel. And, and sure, I'd go back to, I'm human, and I'd go back to the hotel room after a big event sometimes. <laughs> I'd let it all out, but on the tatami, um, never. Yeah, I was, I was always uh, calm and composed. What lessons can you take away from losing? Well, um, for me, losing is a more important lesson than winning. I think you, you reflect more on the fight when you lose than when you win. I know that the, the matches I've lost, I go back and I replay those moments and, and ultimately it improves my game. It makes me a better competitor and um, you're just forced to reflect on it more. I think that there's great lessons from losing. It builds character and uh, it just makes you work harder, so you can have doubt in training to, uh, to push yourself, to get up earlier, to work harder, to try to uh, outwork the people that you think are in your division training, training out there. But I think it's important that you always believe in yourself, so there's no place for doubt at the competition. Come tournament time, you have to believe in yourself. And for me, when I would go to an event, I would uh, try to stick to my routines, block out what the competition was doing, and just build that confidence. Pre-competition habits, let's see. Well, I would always listen to uh, what I thought was a great mix, but apparently every time I play for any of the kids training now, they have no idea what I'm playing and they think it's just awful. But back then, they used to fire me up. And, uh, and I also would visualize a lot of the, the competition before it started. So I would try to uh, get a good clear picture of the arena I was going to and imagine each match one point at a time, one match at a time, and uh, just do a lot of breathing techniques to get to a state of deep relaxation where I could really uh, use my imagination and make it as clear in my mind as possible.
What does it mean to be a champion? To me, being a champion is never quitting, never giving up, always uh, giving it your best at anything you do and uh, having the pride of a champion. So you might be in a match and you might be losing by a, a substantial lead and never giving up, just always trying to uh, leave your best out on the, on the floor. How long did it take me to get my black belt? It took me four years to get my junior black belt and then when I was uh, 16 years old, about six years later, I had to retest for my adult black belt. Uh, that's how it was done back then. We don't do it that way anymore because we see some of these kids training just as hard as the adults and they're in classes three, four, five days a week. And uh, many of them, um, they train in back-to-back -back classes. So we do still have the stipulation of having uh, five to six years of, of training. That's the, uh, the average to get your black belt. But the rank is the same for kids and adults now. What advice would I give to somebody who's considering competing? I would tell them to go for it, to believe in themselves, to, uh, to get out there and test the skills that they worked on in class. I think that competition is a great tool for bringing out the best in yourself, to forcing you to, uh, to work harder, to try harder. And for me, it's always fun. It's just I love the thrill of competition. And, uh, and I, th I think a lot of people, when they finally get a chance to experience it, they, uh, they love it. It becomes addictive and it's, uh, it's a lot of adrenaline and it's just a, it's just a great feeling. And great feeling with the camaraderie, camaraderie of uh, your teammates and, and your dojo mates and everybody that you go to the event. And it's important uh, to keep a positive mindset when you, uh, when you compete. And not to be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. So I see a lot of people, they, uh, they carry the losses with them. But um, it's important just to be free out there, to swing for the fences, to go for it every time, and uh, leave it all out there on the mat. Why do I think the Fonseca Cup is a good place to start competing? I think that uh, it's a great place to start because you're gonna go against people your, your same age, your same level, and at the same time, you'll get to see other athletes fighting at and competing at a very high level. Um, it's got the, uh, the feel and professionalism of a high level event, and we wanted to give that experience to, uh, to our students in this area, and also to bring, uh, bring a, a great competition to the States.